Okay guys, welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to quickly learn about projection. So what I've done is copied the code from find.php and created a new file called projection.php. So we have our client variable, which is an instance of the MongoDB client class. We have the company DB selected. And we also have the employee collection selected. And then we use the find method on the employee collection to select all the documents that have a skill field set to MongoDB and then we are storing it in the document list. Then we iterate over the document list and then dump it out. So when we go to our browser and say projection.php then control U, we have the two documents which have a skill MongoDB. So that is ID1 Andrew and then ID2 Brad. So what projection allows us is we can include or exclude a specific field from a document while querying for it. For example, let's say we just wanted the name field from each of these two documents. So name Andrew and name Brad only to be displayed and nothing else. So for that, we can make use of a second parameter to the find method. Now, this is going to have a keyword projection. So what do we need to project? This again going to be an array. We just want the name. So name set to one. Now let's save this and reload our browser. There you go. We have name Andrew, name Brad. The age and the skill fields are not displayed anymore. However, we still have the ID field. Now this is the default behavior. ID is going to be displayed unless explicitly mentioned not to. So for that, if you want to hide the ID field, just use so dollar uh, underscore ID and then set it to zero. Now save it and refresh it. And there you go. The ID field is hidden. Now we just have the name Andrew and name Brad. So if you want to include a particular field in your query, just assign it one. And if you want to hide explicitly, use zero. So that's pretty much it about projection. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.